I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Hey guys, I'm Rashi Himalio. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a whole lot of empties to show you. So we've got a box and then I've also got this whole bag full of stuff. I want to interrupt this video right now to tell you about the giveaway details. I'm so excited. Uh, this is my first giveaway and I cannot wait to share with you these beautiful lipsticks. So the giveaway includes seven Propa Beauty lipsticks. If you guys have seen my Propa Beauty video, you know this is one of my top favorite brands. It's been a long time since I've come across such a beautiful satin formula, beautiful nude shades for brown skin tones. These are truly, truly phenomenal. And I really wanna share these with one of you. So the giveaway includes seven of these Propa Beauty lipsticks. If you wanna know exactly what these shades are, hop over to my swatch video for Propa Beauty because I'll be including all of those shades that I swatched in that video. I wanted to do this giveaway because I cannot believe we are at over 3,000 subscribers. I feel like it was just yesterday I was counting to my 100 and getting very excited. And I really want to thank you guys for sticking out with me and giving me lots of love and encouragement to keep going on this platform. I'm not sure I would have continued if it hasn't been for your beautiful comments and the conversations that I've had over on Instagram and of course on YouTube. Now all you need to do to enter the giveaway is to make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and of course leave a comment in the section below. Now in your comment let me know how to contact you. So if you are the winner do I contact you through email, leave your email address or leave your IG handle and so I can send you a direct message on Instagram. Now there are bonus entries so if you decide to also follow me on instagram you will be getting five bonus entries in this draw to win these lipsticks now if you want to claim the bonus entries make make sure that you put in your ig handle in the comment below that's how I'll know to find you. The giveaway is going to run until the 8th of May. You have until then to make sure to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me on YouTube and leave a comment below giving me your contact details. And on the 9th, I'll be running a draw and there will be one lucky winner who's going to win all these lipsticks. This giveaway is open worldwide. So as long as your country allows shipping, I will ship it to you. Thank you so much and let's move on to my empties now. This is my first empties video. I always love watching other YouTubers empty videos. It's really interesting to see what products they've used or what they've liked, what they didn't. And so I'm going to do something very similar. I'm going to go through all of these empties, all of these products that I finished in the last year and just give you my thoughts around whether I think they were worth the money. So I'm going to start off with some makeup empties. I've got quite a few here so let's take a look. I finished off using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, as you know this is kind of like a cult favorite and so I'd always wanted to try it. It is super expensive and honestly this didn't work for me. And that's mainly because I have combo skin. I have normal skin on the perimeter of my face. I've got oily areas that are the cheeks right here and the forehead. In terms of makeup application, it is very, very dewy and it would just make my whole face look very shiny and my oils will come through very quickly and it's it gets too oily for my skin type. I think if you have dry skin, you would probably love this. But for someone like me, with combo skin, with oily areas on my cheeks and my forehead, I didn't enjoy this at all. While we're talking about setting spray, um, next up is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is the long lasting version in the purple cap. I enjoyed this. Uh, I got a travel size just because I don't tend to use makeup setting sprays on a regular day to day basis. Only when I really want my makeup to last and, you know, stay budge fruit for over 10 hours that I will use a, a setting spray. Um, if I'm going to be on stage, that type of thing. Otherwise, I normally don't. But I definitely enjoyed this. I think Urban Decay setting sprays are great and they really work. Next up, I have a foundation. So this I haven't completely finished. There's a little bit left in there, but it's expired now. It's really gone off. I cannot use this anymore. So this is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. This is their, their very dewy foundation. This is beautiful. It's If you love dewy foundations, this is really, really beautiful. And it's really sad that 
Becca are going out of business. Um, sad to hear that, but I definitely enjoyed this foundation. My shade was a perfect shade medium, which had a little bit of olive tone in it as well. Now this shade medium was my summer shade, so it's not my winter shade. Gorgeous bottle as well, glass bottle, uh, beautiful product. I have another foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. And my shade, ooh, it is really dirty and manky. Let's not even look at that. Ooh, put that let's put that back in. So this is, I, I also really enjoyed this foundation. It's definitely more, a little bit on the thicker end. It's not as thick as the liquid version of this, but it's definitely a little bit thick. And, and it definitely provides very good full coverage. I enjoyed this. It worked well on my dry areas. It worked well on my oily areas. So I think a very good product. Love this packaging. And my shade match is beige, which was a really good color match for me as well. Okay, next up I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, it's not the concealer. The concealer is really, really good. What I really hate about this product is this damn packaging. It's just, okay, I'm gonna try and, oh my God. Look at this mess. Oh my God. What the heck is this? Holy guacamole. What? I just, why? Why? This is why I hate this product. The packaging is the worst packaging Ever. I have wasted so much of this product because it all gunks up. Even when you use that locking mechanism, it leaks, it, it just clumps up into this top area. You can see it for yourself. It's all clumped up right at the top there. It is super disgusting and I don't like to use it because of the packaging. Now the concealer itself is beautiful. I enjoyed using this concealer when it was brand new. Um, but as I continued to use it, the packaging really irritated me to the point where I stopped using this. And I really, really hate it. Imagine putting this gunk back in the cap. Ugh. Disgusting. So I'm throwing this away and I will never buy it again, ever. Let's moving on. Um, the next concealer I have is the Makeup Forever. This is discontinued now. HD concealer. Do you guys remember this? If you've tried this concealer before, let me know in the comment section below. Are you as bummed as I am that this concealer is gone? This was so beautiful. This is one of those concealers that provides that perfect medium plus coverage. You can probably take it up to full coverage as well. And it just had the most creamy application, the beautiful, slightly dewy look under the eye. I just can't believe this is gone. All the concealers that I actually have even compared to this, they, they're good concealers, no doubt, but none of them I can say are a dupe. So if you know of a dupe, any other concealers that have the same finish, uh, and feel like this, please let me know in the comment section below. I would really, really appreciate it. Next up, I have the Hourglass Primer. This is the Whale Mineral Primer. So I only ever buy the small size of the Hourglass because again, with primers, I don't really use them very often. If I want a very long lasting makeup look, that's when I'll use a primer. Other than that, I find most primers to be really average. I feel like they don't really do that much and the look that I want to achieve for my skin I can achieve without a primer so mm. with this one it is a really nice primer and when I went to Brazil for example and it was really hot it was really humid it worked really well under foundation so I will probably buy this again but only a small size because I never run out of this and I still have quite a bit left but now it's gone off next up I have the Too Faced lip insurance original demi matte anti feathering lip primer this was useless I bought it I think because of a recommendation from someone and um, it just didn't work for me I used it under uh, lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and I felt like it made no difference my lips if they were dry it would still be dry um, it says anti feathering I don't have a feathering issue so I can't tell you whether it worked for that but for me it was just meh I won't be buying it then we have the Sephora Stabilo the Sephora eyeliner in this sharpie format um, when I first saw this came out I thought what a genius idea I love it at first it was nostalgia because hey 
When I was younger, I used to use Sharpies all the time. So I wanted to give this a go. This is what it looks like. And the reason why this didn't work for me is that first, this nib is a little bit too thick, right? If I want a thin line, it's hard to get a thin line with this. So you always end up having a thick liner. And then this is really hard to hold. I mean, this is super tiny. Look at that. And so when you try and get that line, you just can't get a comfortable grip. So it's it's not fluid enough. You're not able to really have that control while you're applying that eyeliner. So I thought this was really just perhaps not well thought out. Now then I just have a, a gloss from Dior. This is Dior Rouge Brilliant shade 263. This is probably no longer available now. Um, this is quite old and it's expired. So I'm going to throw this out, but a beautiful, beautiful gloss. I really enjoyed wearing this. The, sh the color was just a beautiful pink on my lips and I would definitely consider buying more Dior glosses. Next up, I have these Smashbox liquid lipsticks. These are terrible. So <laughs> initially when I first bought them, I really enjoyed them. I liked the formula. The only reason why I say these are terrible is this: these dried out on me in like four months. I'm not even joking. In four months, they completely dried out to the point where I couldn't even use them. It was, it was terrible, my gosh. And they're like, it's like, it's so hard. You can feel it, it's ugh. So this for me was a complete waste of money. I'm gonna say, don't buy them. Definitely do not buy them. So those were my makeup empties. Now I'm gonna move on to some skincare, body care, hair. So let's start off with some skincare empties. The first one I've got is my Hamish All Clean Cleansing Balms. These are these two balms that I finished up. I freaking love these products. I think this is an affordable and very effective makeup cleanser. I use this as my first cleanse, a very creamy balm that just melts into the skin and emulsifies so easily. It just rinses clean, right? You don't have this oily residue that's left behind. It completely rinses clean. So easy to remove your makeup. I really, really love them. And since I discovered this, I have not been able to purchase anything else. I've just continuously gone back and forth and purchased this multiple times. I don't even know how many times. I think I've purchased this now eight times, perhaps. What is also great about these is that the balm is inside. It's got a little lid that goes on top. And right here is a little spatula that I've lost now. But that little spatula, you can remove this, use the spatula to scoop out the balm, put it back on top, put the spatula on top and close the lid. So the packaging is really well thought out. It's brilliant, I love it. And yes, I will continue to buy these. Next up, I tried a sample of the Biosance Jelly Squalane Cleanser that I've been hearing some good things about. Now, I didn't really like this cleanser and I got really confused because first I tried to remove my makeup with it, so I used it like a balm cleanser because the texture is very similar to that. Um, so I tried to use it that way and it, w it did not do a good job with removing makeup. Face makeup, okay. Eye makeup, definitely not. I had so much residue left over, so I didn't like it for makeup removal. And then I tried it as a second cleanse and I still didn't like it as a second cleanser because it didn't really remove any residual makeup either. It also leaves a film on the skin. I, maybe I'm not used to that and that's why I didn't like it, but I... I like my skin to feel cleansed. I don't want it to be tight or stripped or anything like that, but I don't like uh, a, a film being left over my skin after I've done my cleansing. And I felt like I, this definitely leaves a film. Maybe this is gonna be great for people that have really dry skin, that you want that film. But for someone like me with combo skin, I didn't enjoy it. And so I'm glad I actually didn't buy this product. I'm so glad I tried a sample, didn't like it, will not purchase it. Next up, I tried a travel size of the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. Now this balm, I'm going to compare it to my Hamish because Hamish for me is like gold standard. In comparison to Hamish, I didn't like this one. Now I think that if I wasn't used to Hamish, I probably would have really liked this. But because I'm used to this, you know, I have a frame of reference. It didn't emulsify, it didn't break down easily enough for me. So what ended up happening is I would scoop some out, rub it in between my fingers and then rub it on my face and I will have these little chunks 
of balm left on my fingers on my face and I'll have to like go in and really rub it in and really get that to melt and that was annoying it was just it was annoying it wasn't bad it was just annoying whereas for the all clean balm I don't have that trouble there's no clumpiness in this product it just melts right in where I didn't have that experience with this so I think it's really because of the texture I didn't like this product and I won't be buying it now it did work really well to remove makeup I didn't have any problem with that next up I tried a travel size of the fresh soy face cleanser now I really enjoyed this it has a very light cucumber scent it's an excellent cleanser as a second cleanser to remove that last residue of any makeup. It's also great as a cleanser on its own, it's particularly a morning cleanser. It's fantastic because in the morning, it gives you that very light cucumber scent. So it really helps to wake you up in the morning. I really, really enjoyed it. So I am definitely considering buying a full size of this. It is very expensive, which is why I haven't purchased it yet but I, I think I will because this was really, really lovely and I can see why this is the cult favorite. Next up, I tried the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser Daily Foaming Wash. Now, I'm not gonna be buying this again. It is a good cleanser, but it's a little bit too strong for my skin. What I find with this is if I leave this on my skin for let's say 30 seconds, my skin will get irritated and I will get redness around my cheeks. Formulated with a duo of HAs and pumpkin, papaya, pineapple enzymes. So I think it's quite strong. And I stopped using this for my face. I think when I tried to use it for my I only left it on for like five seconds and then I removed it. And of course with that, it didn't really have any effect when I left it on for five seconds. And so the way I finished using this is that I just used it on my bum. And it was great for that, but I won't be buying it again. Next up, I tried uh, this brand called Radical. So this is their express, express delivery enzyme peel. And it, I don't know if you can see that. It has, it looks like a little pink jelly and you apply this to your face and it just comes off. It kind of peels away some of the dead skin. Of course, it's got a peeling agent in the ingredient list. So a lot of those peeling that you see is not dead skin. It's actually just the product. Uh, but of course, it's that motion of those products against the surface of the skin that provides that exfoliation. And it has some um, enzymes uh, as well. I think this was okay. Um, I would honestly just forget about using this because I didn't find it very effective. It didn't irrit it irritate my skin or anything like that. So it was definitely better than the Kate Summerwell, but I think it was just average and I won't be purchasing it. Uh, next up, I tried Neutrogena's oil-free eye makeup remover. Really, really hated this. <laughs> um, this really irritated my eyes and it made my eyes dry and it stung like a bitch. So never, never again. Then I tried the Innisfree Aloe Revival Skin Mist. This was really lovely, um, but I couldn't get into the habit of misting my skin. Honestly, it's, I think I bought it because I like the idea of mm, just going and misting your skin and feeling so refreshed, but I just couldn't get into the habit of doing that. Um, I felt like when I misted my skin, all that, all that liquid would just evaporate and then I was left with skin that felt a little bit dry. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything wrong with this product. I think it was really nice. I'm just not a fan of skin mist, perhaps. So I'm gonna throw this out because it's become old now and I, I really haven't used it. So I will get rid of it. Next up. Oh, I love this. This is the Pyongyang Yule Essence Toner. Beautiful, beautiful toner. I was so gonna buy this again. I actually can't wait to buy this again. It has this beautiful, soft, silky texture to this essence. It's never irritated my skin. It's hydrating. It's just perfection. It's really perfection. And I just, yes, yes. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a go. It's beautiful. It's also very affordable as well, by the way. Then I finished up Tossa Wong's uh, Propolis Sparkle Ampule. This is a propolis serum, and this was beautiful. I think serums like these are great for 
fall winter i even use this in summer because it's it's not too heavy and it just kept my skin really just hydrated and when i want to use a serum that doesn't really have actives i love using that for that because sometimes your skin can get a little bit irritated when you use too many actives and so you want to use serums that actually are hydrating and soothing and nothing that's going to irritate the skin so i love that for this reason beautiful product and affordable comes in this huge bottle yes i will buy it again oh next up i tried this polis choice 15 percent vitamin c booster serum now mm, let's talk about the pros first this has a very lightweight texture so it really just sinks into the skin it's beautiful texture really easy to use and this made a difference to my skin um even after using it for about four days three to four days i saw significant brightening and it provided it even smoothed out my skin and the glow that this product gives Oof. this works this really really works it didn't irritate my skin at all i feel like this percentage of 15 percent i could use without any issues i really enjoyed using it but there's a big big downside this packaging is terrible for a vitamin c serum that oxidizes when it comes in contact with air and so when you're using it you're opening it all the time every day possibly and then of course it's coming in contact with that air and this just oxidized on me very very quickly it turned orange so it comes clear um, then you know the product is going to be effective it hasn't been oxidized when it's clear and gradually you'll see the color will change as it starts to oxidize and it just oxidized on me way too quickly we're talking just in a couple of months it was gone it was orange and i stopped using it on my face i just ended up using it on my bum <laughs> anything i don't want to use i use on my bum right um so i'm i'm really disappointed that the packaging of this product really let this down i feel like if this was formulated in a way where it wasn't a dropper and instead a pump i think this product would have probably lasted me a lot longer and i would be comfortable with purchasing it again but i'm not i'm not going to pay this price for a vitamin c serum that goes off on me in less than two months so no will not buy this what a shame absolute absolute shame i really hope paula's choice changes this packaging because i think this formulation is fantastic it has no fragrance really no irritating ingredients that i could see from the ingredient list so um really just, just the packaging really let it down next up i have my keels powerful strength line reducing eye brightening concentrate this also has vitamin c this is 10.5 percent vitamin c now this has a lot of claims that it will help the appearance of crow's feet and decrease and wrinkles and brightens the eye area minimizes dark circles so there's a lot of claims behind this product i personally didn't see any of that i regularly used it we're talking morning and nighttime, and i didn't notice anything what I did really love about this that it's beautiful under eye makeup so under concealer this is perfect because it has silicone so it gives you a very smooth base and then you can go in with your concealer it sits perfectly and I really enjoyed it for under makeup application however this is 15 ml 0.5 fluid ounce and it's very expensive it's just not worth the money so I will not be buying it again next up I quickly want to talk about the green tangerine vitamin c oh this is from the brand goodall green tangerine vitamin c dark spots serum and this is the vitamin c cream now i had the full size of this and i did enjoy it while i was using it i saw brightening for my skin absolutely however what i didn't like about these products is that they have a lot of photosynthesizing ingredients in there they have fragrance and so i'm just I'm not gonna buy it again then this product oh my god i really did not like this like i'm gonna say the word hate maybe hate is too strong i'm gonna say dislike really dislike this product this is from the inky list this is their turmeric moisturizer now this has a very strong turmeric scent oh my god Ugh. 
So I like turmeric. I'm Indian. I cook with turmeric. I love it in my food. Um, I have no problems with turmeric. This product though, it just has way too strong turmeric scent and I didn't enjoy that. And then it tingles. You put it on your skin and you, you can feel your skin tingling. I didn't like that either. I don't believe that if your skin tingles that a product is working. I don't believe in that. I think that's a myth. I think anybody who says that needs to reevaluate re what tingling really means on the skin because I think tingling is more or less a sensation of irritation. So I didn't like that this gave me that tingling sensation. I also didn't find it hydrating at all. Like I really tried to give this a solid shot because I thought, hey, with the turmeric, it might give me some skin brightening, which is why I bought it. But I just, I didn't like it. I will not buy it again. Next up, let's talk about some drunk elephants. So I tried their travel size of their TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum. I haven't even finished this because I didn't notice any difference. This is their AHA BHA blend. I honestly just did not notice anything. Um, maybe it gave me a little bit of exfoliation, but you know, nothing amazing and just definitely not worth the money. I will not be buying the full size. I have the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I love this. Whew, this product has been through a lot with me. I have gone on several tips. Um, I've traveled in the past where the change in climate result in a lot of sensitization and irritation for my skin. And this was really the only product that absolutely fixed my skin in two days. Like applying this for two days when my skin was in really, really horrible condition because of that change in environment and climate and it just completely, completely fixed my skin. And sometimes if I use a skincare product that irritates my skin, I will just use this and this will calm my skin down like anything. And this for some reason also works great for when I have skin that is breaking out, especially close to my period time. I'll have some breakout cells start coming up. I'll use this and it will calm my breakouts down. How amazing is that? So I really, really love this product and I have already purchased a full size. Well, I purchased the next size up. I believe this comes in three sizes. So I purchased the next size up because you don't really need a lot of product. But yes, I highly, highly recommend. Next up, I tried the Ultimate Overnight Honey Moisturizing Overnight Mask from COSRX. Really love this, very hydrating beautiful honey mask. I love my honey mask. Anything with honey, just give it to me. And really, really enjoyed this. So I will absolutely buy this again. I used it pretty much as an overnight mask and I love how soft and supple and hydrated my skin look in the morning. Uh, beautiful product. Next up, I want to talk about Nukes. So this is the Nukes lip balm. Beautiful lip balm. What I love about this lip balm is that it has a matte texture so you can use it on top of matte lipsticks and it's not going to make your lipstick look glossy or shiny it's going to keep and retain that matte look which is great um, it's also hydrating and lovely lovely product we'll be buying it again so i've also tried this second time now the huda beauty's wishful thirst trap cocoon mask and the first time I tried this, I left it on for a long period of time and I saw a really good result, especially the next day. So what I find with these masks is if let's say you're going to an event, you want to use it the day before because the effects of this mask last up to 24 hours, actually even 48 hours, which was amazing. It does firms up your skin a little bit, it's your skin that is softer, a little bit smoother. And yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. I do think this is overpriced though. Like it's very expensive. So it's not a product that I would use all the time. Maybe I would purchase it if I want to use a mask before an event. But of course, if you do do that, make sure you use it the day before or the night before. I'm going to make sure you leave this on the skin for a decent amount of time. So all that serum absorbs in. Now it did give me just a little bit of redness around my nose area, which wasn't the best. And I think what I tried to do is when I bought this mask again, I ended up using it for a shorter amount of time. So only 20 minutes, but then 20 minutes didn't give me enough for a result 
result like leaving it for an hour did. I think this was good. Will I buy it again? Maybe. Don't know for yet. This was my second purchase. Next up, I finished this sunscreen from Mecca Cosmetica. So this is really only available in New Zealand and in Australia. And this is the brand Mecca Cosmetica. Their sunscreen in SPF 30 plus. This is a beautiful sunscreen. It it just sits so beautifully under makeup. It is a chemical sunscreen. And I do believe it has fragrance. I don't think this is fragrance free, but it's never irritated my skin. It's lightweight, it's hydrating, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful sunscreen. So this is my second tube that I've purchased. I really love it. I'm right now I'm using their SPF 50. So if you are in Australia and New Zealand, you're looking for a chemical sunscreen that is obviously not going to give you any sort of tint to your skin uh, and that you can also use under makeup. Boom. This is fantastic. I used up the Neogen Real Fresh Foam Green Tea Cleanser. This is a foam cleanser. It's It worked beautifully. This is affordable. Um, I really enjoy foam cleansers. I think it's because I have combo skin and I do like to make sure I get a really good cleanse. And this wasn't drying at all and a really really good product. It does have a very huge ingredient list which I don't understand why um, for a cleanser. But other than that, um, really enjoyed it. I wouldn't recommend this though for those of you with dry skin tones. I think this will be a little bit too drying for you. Then I have the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Liquid Moisturizing Toner. This was lovely. This is not fragrance free though. This does have a fragrance. So if that bothers you, don't buy it. But other than that, it's a very beautiful toner, lightweight, hydrating lovely product all right now let's talk about some body products and some hair care products now for the body i have used up the body shop mango shower gel this was beautiful first of all i love the scent i love the set of mangoes and this has a very strong like mango sorbet scent that's what it's got and i love heavily scented bath and body products really enjoyed this it has a very smooth very silky gel formula so when you rub it onto the skin you just feel like your skin feels so smooth um beautiful this was actually a present from my husband valentine's day he bought me a pack that had shower gel the body butter and the hand cream and it was really really nice so i immensely enjoyed the body wash i think this is worth it. I would buy this again. I also really enjoyed the body yogurt. Sorry, this is not a body butter. It's called the mango body yogurt. And it is a gel-like formula. So this is something that is great in summer. Not in winter though. In winter, this is not moisturizing enough. It's not thick enough. In the summer, it's perfect because it's super hot out. You don't want to be rubbing in anything too oily or too emollient or too rich and thick. Um, something very lightweight such as this product, sinks right in, hydrates the skin, beautiful scent, definitely enjoyed it. We have the Body Shop Mango Hand Cream. I didn't like this. The scent was lovely, just like the rest of the products, but it just wasn't hydrating for me and for my hands. I get a dryness a lot here in between the knuckles, and this was just not hydrating enough. I felt like I kept having to apply this again and again, and it just didn't make any difference whatsoever. So I won't buy this specific product again. I also used up the L'Occitane foot cream for dry skin and I've really enjoyed it. So this has a lavender oil, beautiful, beautiful lavender scent. Mm, very lovely. It almost smells like a medicinal lavender scent. I really like it. I used it on my hands. I used it on my feet. This is a very rich cream. So for me, this was perfect at bedtime, um, not during the day, unless you're going to wear socks afterwards, but um, very softening for the feet. I loved how it felt very therapeutic because of that scent. Lavender is, of course, known for its calming, relaxing effects. And so... I can see myself buying this again. So I have the Soap and Glory Flake Away Scrub. Mm, I love the scent. Oh my God, this scent is so good. So I've actually purchased this product multiple times. I really, really love this scent. Uh, beautiful scrub, really affordable, and it works. It really, really works. And the scent is divine. You've got to try it out. 
Um, then I have this brand called Ethique, and this is their body lotion, Jasmine and Ylang Ylang. I love their products, especially this one. I am going to absolutely buy this again. This is their body bar, right? So it's like a body lotion that comes in a little bar, and the scent is so good. If you like Jasmine, if you like Ylang Ylang, you, you know it. What else does it have? So the first ingredient in here is cocoa seed butter that's your first ingredient and then it's got babasu seed oil capri triglyceride stearic acid sunflower seed wax castor oil hoba oil ylang ylang jasmine essential oil oh, it's divine i love it i love it and this product is so hydrating i wouldn't really recommend this for summer i think it's a bit too rich for summer but for fall winter even spring this is really lovely what i found really surprising with this though i used it at the back of my ankles and the back of my ankles where your shoe rubs against can that area can get blisters and it can get a little bit hard using this product right in that back area overnight smoothed out the back of my ankles like overnight and it just felt baby smooth Whew, it was incredible. I love this product. Just randomly, I'm gonna put a perfume out there that I finished as well. This is from the brand Toka, and this is Cleopatra. This is my third bottle, I believe. I'm obsessed with this perfume. I change up my perfumes all the time, but this is one of those perfumes that I've purchased now three times. This was my third bottle that I finished. Ah, oh, the scent. Mmm. For me, this is the perfect fall and winter scent. It's just so sexy. It's got a little bit of muskiness to it. Um, so I was thinking it was hard to describe this because I thought it was musky, but it had some orange notes. So I thought I'd look it up. And what it has is fragrance notes. We've got black currant, cassis, grapefruit, grapefruit. There you go. It's got a bit of that citrus scent. I thought it was orange, but it's actually grapefruit. Jasmine. Oh, of course I love this it's got jasmine tuberose peach amber musk vanilla and patchouli Oof, beautiful formulation so if you like the sound of some of these fragrance notes I think you will probably really love this one of my favorite perfumes I often get compliments when I wear this as to what am I wearing this is not like a a light fresh fruity scent this is definitely I'm a woman and I am feeling confident and sexy scent. I love it. Mm. Even my husband. My husband's obsessed with the scent too. So whenever I buy this for myself, he always uses it. I'm like, okay. Hey, perfumes are unisex, right? It doesn't really matter whether they're for males or females. If you like the scent, go for it. All right, lastly, I just quickly want to talk about some hair care products that I finished up. There's not too many, just because I have so many hair care products and I rotate between them all the time. It actually takes me a long time to finish those products. Now, I used up the Kevin Murphy Repair Me Rinse Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I don't know what happened to the other bottle. This is the conditioner. This was really lovely. The scent is really nice. It almost smells a little bit caramel. I thought this conditioner and shampoo was fabulous. It gave me some shine and hydration. It didn't wear my hair down at all. And just beautiful products from Kevin Murphy. Then I also finished up the Brio Gio Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil micro exfoliating shampoo oh my god that's a long name beautiful product i really really enjoyed this excellent clarifying type of shampoo and it what i love about this is that tingling sensation i get in my scalp when i use it although i really love this product and i will probably buy this again if you're looking for that beautiful tingling sensation in your scalp that you get from this product you don't have to buy this you can just buy peppermint essential oil um, put some shampoo in your palm, add a drop of peppermint essential oil, rub it into your scalp, and boom, you've got something very, very similar in terms of the tingling sensation. And you don't have to spend the money buying this. So that's a great hack if you want that tingling sensation. I love it. I think 
um, for my scalp especially it can be it can feel very soothing just make sure you don't use too much peppermint essential oil it can be irritating also if you have dermatitis on your scalp don't use essential oils that's going to irritate the heck out of your scalp only if you have normal scalp then use it um, lastly last two products i've got are the Kerastase. i finished two Kerastase hair oils these are beautiful i have a little bit left in this one so this is the chronologist oil oh my god the scent oh. Whew. Um, next time you go to a hair salon or store where you can where they stock care stars please go get a whiff of this one i'm so obsessed with the scent like if you've seen my hair care video i've gone ahead and purchased the whole chronologies line because this scent is so divine and let me just look up the notes so i can tell you exactly what's in it so it has a blend of tea rose light woods and musk with extract of myrrh yeah that's what it has i believe it might have more but that's all I can read in here. It's lovely. It's just something that I think if you haven't experienced yet, go to your nearest Caritas counter and just ask them to give you some to try. Um, I'm going to pop some in my palm. You can see that. Take a whiff. And then I am just going to add this to my hair. You see that? And it's just straight away giving my hair some shine. And I'm going to do that right here as well. And I only really apply this to the ends. Oh, oh my God, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. I freaking love it. And you don't really need a lot either. Do you see how beautifully shiny my hair looks now look at that and it doesn't take away from the style as well so i've got some waves happening in my hair right now so it doesn't flatten out the waves or ruins my styling at all it's just a beautiful beautiful finishing oil i just really really love it for fine hair i highly recommend it because it does not weigh my hair down whatsoever it gives me shine it gives me hydration it looks beautiful it smells amazing it's just perfect perfect um i've actually already purchased a bottle of this so i've got that sitting so this is one of those oils that i could not wait to purchase again the minute i saw that it was finishing i went and bought a bottle so that's how obsessed i am with this and the other one i want to share with you is your elixir ultime this is a beautiful oil as well it doesn't smell as good as the chronology so in terms of scent it is nice but it's nowhere near close to chronologies i do think care stars you could probably consider reformulating the scent of this because there's just no comparison when it comes to the scent. However, this product is great because it's also a heat protectant. This is not, this is a finishing oil. So after you've done your styling, you wanna go ahead and apply a little bit of this just to give your hair some shine, some hydration. Whereas this product you can use in damp hair and you can style with it because it's a heat protectant. It will give you a ton, ton of shine and smoothness to your locks. This is. I think gonna be amazing for medium hair. For my hair, I will say that it's a little bit heavy, especially if I'm styling with it, which means I'm using a lot more than I normally would, uh, but I don't care because it gives you ton of shine, ton. Sometimes I don't care about volume and I don't care that my hair is weighed down. I just care about shine and that's when I'll use this. That was it guys. Those were all my MTs. I talked about so many products. I really hope you found this video valuable. If you did, if you found some reviews for products that you've been perhaps thinking about, please give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.